This is you know, it's a once in 12 year opportunity. The kind of relentless one game after the other uh, with enormous media and travelling fan interest is, is something that's it's really special. New Zealanders probably embrace the Lions Tour more than, than others. It's, rugby's our national game. We're extremely passionate about it. We set major demands on the national team and so a Lions Tour is hugely significant. You've got 20,000 people travelling to the other side of the world. That's not insignificant by any stretch of the imagination at all. That's a big commitment. As a player, firstly, you may not even get a chance to play. It may not fall within the time that you're an All Black and you could be an All Black for a long time and you want to make the most of it because of the history and, and all the hype that comes with it. It's just a great event to be involved in. We certainly look at this as, as being the the, the trade-off for our teams going north and playing in, in really big stadia in the, in the Northern Hemisphere every November and those unions uh, making um, really, really good money off playing uh, the Southern Hemisphere teams. If we look at 2005, there was about $140 million worth of economic impact. You know, and uh, we, we want to ensure that the fans um, have a great time, spend a lot of money, uh, go back raving about uh, the rugby, but also raving about New Zealand. I was at the airport when the Lions arrived. From that moment, there's been camper vans on the road, thousands of fans. Um, but I guess it really hit home for me at the first test, the, the massive influx of, of tourists. Um, you go down the viaduct and it's, the bars are crammed, um, the fan walk. You go to the ground an hour and a half beforehand and it's just a sea of red. You go into stores and cafes and things and people really talk about you know the the bars and the atmosphere you know, a lot of my friends own businesses and a few of my friends own some some bars and things and they've been very excited about it and it's such a, a neat experience there's a lot of anticipation about your, your one chance to to get out and play a series and I still talk about you know amongst you know, 15 years of rugby it's one of the series you talk about because of the uniqueness of it you know I'm sure the guys that are playing it at the moment will, will talk the same way. I think you actually have to be here and be a part of it to understand what it what it means uh, to have a Lions tour being able to uh, walk down to games and be amongst the fans and the intensity it's great to be a part of and I know for, uh, for us as, as all, all Blacks getting the opportunity um, man it's something we savour. The interest is just on another scale, both from a readership perspective, but also in terms of travelling media. You know, you go along and, and there's a cast of thousands there. Every utterance is, is gobbled up and, and um, you know, every, every sort of little jibe or, or tactic is, is, uh, becomes a headline. I think the fans are contributing to history. You know, books have been written about Lions tours and they say there's 20,000 in South Africa, 20,000 in Australia. Then we are making history as supporters and I think that's a good thing, I really do. I couldn't believe in Wellington down in the Caketon, it was probably 60% Lions supporters and they were, you could just see seas of red around the park. There is no doubt that um, we would struggle to survive financially if once every 12 years we didn't have a Lions series. Um, so direct benefit to New Zealand rugby, really significant. And then obviously the, the place of rugby in New Zealand society and you know, the impact of this series with the travelling fans is just immense. So important on both levels, both for us as a union, but also for uh, the New, New Zealand as a country. And I really hope it continues. I honestly do. The Lions should be really proud of what they've done for rugby, world rugby. And it's really important that that keeps on.